Let's hear it for Moon the Pirate and all the first timers, shall we? All right. It's been that kind of night, folks. We're already in it, aren't we? Good heavens. You know, some of this may be because of some recent events that uh, we need to take a moment and discuss. I hate to get all serious on you, but I actually, I'd like to take a moment and talk about someone we lost. I know it's a downer, but to hear that we lost Sebastian. Now, I know a bunch of you are going, who the hell is Sebastian? <laughs> so I have to backtrack. Long ago, before all of this nonsense, I mean, before Monday night's creative motion, before there was the Circus Freaks, there was creative motion. They had one event a month, had about a dozen people at it. That same event is Spinfest now, has over 100 people at it, and is internationally recognized as a World Circus Day event this month. But was very small, and when we would go out to play, and I didn't start it, I just showed up. They had a stereo with an extension cord in the middle of the park. It was ghetto, but it got the job done. I mean, it was really bad. But we, we got the thing, we got it done. And it, we got music, and that was the goal, and it was nice. And then one of our friends came along and said, would you like to perform? None of us were performers at the time. And we said, uh, they said, for money. We said, yes, we'd love to. <laughs> Thus starting a long and strange little road that we've been on since. This I loved. It was an event, it was a baby shower with a circus theme called Cirque du Bebe. Cirque du Bebe, Circus of the Baby. The visuals of the kind of stunts that you could get arrested for. I'm sure there are posters of them up at Child Protective Services. I'm absolutely sure of it. But we did the gig, and I, I learned three things at this event. The first thing I learned is never put a song in a playlist that is your cue to go pee, because for the rest of your life, when I hear Zap Mama what I say, I have to go to the bathroom. No, 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 no. Number two... I had my best improv moment ever, which was I handed a juggling ball to the expectant mother, and she dropped it right on her tummy, and I said, careful, that's how clowns are made. <laughs> We're still waiting on reports. <laughs> and <laughs> the last thing I learned was at the end of the gig, we collected our pittance, we walked outside, and we did the math, and we realized we could all afford lunch. Yeah. Not just lunch, but I mean lunch with a beverage next to it. Maybe if we stretched it to the limit and were careful with ordering possibly even an appetizer. This was a serious moment. And I suggested rather than doing that, why don't we all chip in? And we bought, we got, we, we actually, we destroyed the bad stereo and we bought one of those cool little block rocker portable amplifiers and in honor of the later born baby, we named the little noisemaker Sebastian. Ah, so for about two years, Sebastian showed up at events. Eventually, we upgraded Sebastian to Thomas Jefferson Whisker Nibbles, who shows up at Spinfest. But at some of our smaller events, our gigs, and of course, when we teach workshops, the little workhorse, Sebastian, no, TJ works a lot, I'm talking about Sebastian, comes out and does the job until it started sputtering and dying a horrible death. I mean, we listen to a lot of dubstep, so it took us a while to actually notice. <laughs> But it finally gave up the ghost. What I learned, the third thing I learned from that event was that we can either be soloists and we have lunch, good and height. Thank you. It's that kind of night. Or we could pool together and we can accomplish great and mental things. And I think that lesson is how we got all the way to here at the open stage. And I thank you for being a part of that and chipping in and making it happen each and every week. I know sooner or later, We'll probably end up re replacing the little, the little noisemaker. Not, not the kid, the, 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 the amplifier. That's, that's on them. Not TJ, no. No, we, we added you guys in the band and we didn't replace TJ. Come on. Uh, Want to get high? Anyway. But I think the, I think the thing that we, we, we love most about it is that we keep growing and we keep adding things and it keeps getting bigger and it's absolutely mental. And if you're new here, welcome to the ride of your life. Welcome to the open stage. <laughs>